Talk about the best of both worlds. Early fetal programming work shows that cow herd management could increase marbling while reducing back fat in calves. Meat scientists recently looked at cow nutrition during mid-gestation, a critical time for fetal muscle and marbling development. South Dakota State University's Amanda Blair isn't ready to give blanket recommendations just yet, but says the results are encouraging. We've seen that um, calves are born to cows that, that were in a negative energy status during gestation, uh, had improved yield grades, and also uh, had improved what we call marbling ratios, where they had more marbling in relation to subcutaneous or back fat, which is a favorable distribution if, if you look at the dynamics of the industry. We're wanting to improve quality grade by increasing marbling and, and dropping that yield grade down. So um, that, that marbling ratio was a, an interesting uh, result that we found uh, from this work. There was no difference in meat appearance or other traits, like tenderness. When producers hear a lot of this work on fetal programming, I think it makes sense because, you know, we can understand it from the human side. We've, we've heard things, you know, like pregnant women aren't supposed to drink or smoke and they need to eat healthy. So it makes sense that, that what's going on during gestation could have a, a long-term impact on the offspring. But I think we're really at the tip of the iceberg on finding out how to use this as a potential management tool, um, at, at least in regards to the research that we've been conducting on, on carcass merit. Previous Nebraska work shows that supplementation in the third trimester improves grading on harvested progeny and performance of retained heifer calves. That's proof that more study is needed to fine-tune guidelines, Blair says. It's, it's an interesting area of research and uh, lends itself to a lot of follow-up studies. I'm B.J. Scott.